as teachers are fond of saying, you can practice anywhere. But some places provide the conditions to make it easier to practice. We've got a lot of those conditions here. A lot of time to be quiet, a lot of time to be by yourself. Very few noisy disturbances from outside. So try to make the most of the opportunity when you have it. Because it's not going, always going to be there. When you get sick, it gets difficult. As you get older, it gets difficult. And when you die, well, that's the end of that chapter. So try to make this a good chapter, as good as you can with the time that you've got. When the Buddha is talking about being in the present moment, it's always in the context of the fact that you don't know how much time you have. It's not because the present moment is a wonderful moment. It's because there's work to be done in the mind. And you don't know. Death could come at any time. Changes could come at any time that would make it really difficult. The same with mindfulness. It's not simply being in the present. It's the lessons you've learned from the past that you want to remember so you can apply them to the present wherever they're relevant. So it's not just the present moment. You have to think in terms of the past and the future. What you've learned from the past and how uncertain the future is. Okay, those are the things you want to focus on the present moment. So you can figure out what is there in the mind that's still causing trouble. What can I deal with now? Maybe, maybe some of the problems are big. Well, at least you can chip away at them. As you probably notice, like when you're cutting a branch off of a tree, you cut and cut and cut, and the branch seems like it's going to stay, it's going to stay, it's not going to move at all. And then finally you reach a point where what little bit of connection between the branch and the tree is not enough to hold up the branch, and it comes down right away. So you never know. Sometimes big problems, as you chip, chip, chip away at them, you finally get to that point where what's holding the problem in the mind is just a little tiny bit, and that's it. So work at whatever problems you notice are the really important ones, the ones that you can say to yourself, at least I've chipped away at something important in my mind, some important problem, greed, aversion, lust, jealousy, whatever. The present moment is the best time, the only time where you can do that. So make the most of it, this opportunity you have to practice. <laughs>